hat people are doing so yeah i haven't actually shot any arrow for this video so i'm just gonna go with this it's easier and i just i'm really cramped up time but anyways thing is we are looking at the selfie cameras here and let's face it there really isn't a good enough selfie camera for video like the s23 ultra it has 4k 30 and compared to the 1080p 30 that we get on the xiaomi 13 pro and many other devices actually it's it's far better it's gonna give you way better video quality it, it really plays a massive role numbers do matter when it comes to selfie video at least in my experience that has really been the case and far as i can tell from the viewfinder the colors don't really look that appealing to me at least for the xiaomi now i'll give you my final thoughts in a moment and by the way you can use stuff like portrait video on the xiaomi 13 pro but at the end of the day the one thing that if you're at all interested in selfie video that you're going to use is you know good quality video and if that's what you want you're really gonna have to go with the s23 here but the red camera obviously that's gonna be a different story right, so this right here is portrait video on both phones and well essentially yeah you can use it on the xiaomi 13 pro that's great and all but the quality is what really is gonna speak volumes really well on the s23 you can use 4k 30 with portrait video as well so that's that's another thing to keep in mind and well even if you're like me and you don't like portrait video all that much like portrait mode for video because even the smallest issue anywhere it can be really distracting as opposed to portrait mode photos which you know even with a small defect here and there it, it's static it doesn't really matter all that much at least maybe that's just the way my mind looks so i'm just saying the main priority should be good regular selfie video and that well the s23 far as i know <laughs> it's just better at it so selfie video as well i must say Despite being 1080p, the quality is actually pretty high. It's probably one of the highest 1080p selfie video that I've seen in a while. Usually it's way worse, but compared to the 4K on the S23 Ultra, really high quality 4K at that, I don't really think it stands much of a chance here. And that, that's natural, that's just how it goes. And honestly, if you want good selfie video, you only have the S23 Ultra as your Android option. And if you want to go for Apple, then yeah, that's also a fantastic option if you think about selfie video as such. As for colors, I do think that the Xiaomi 13 Pro didn't look all that bad. The S23 does have slightly more natural white balance and a little bit more vibrance in general. And finally for the audio quality, I think the Xiaomi 13 Pro was a touch clearer but with the noise reduction that the S23 does, my voice sounded a little bit better. It sounded a pinch muffled but the overall clarity is definitely better on the S23 Ultra. As a portrait video, I think it explains itself here because as you can see, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, in a lot of cases, like it just stopped converting the video into portrait mode as such. Like a lot of times we just lost the background bokeh, the background blur in general. So that level of inconsistency, I mean, it just, it reinforces my thoughts on why portrait mode video doesn't really work out all that well. The S23, it's, it's definitely better. It's probably one of the best for portrait video as such. So yeah, if you really care about this kind of stuff, once again, the S23 is still your best bet. But having said that, I do think that with the rare cameras, the Xiaomi 13 Pro really does stack up. Like it does it really, really well. So if you don't care about selfie cameras all that much, then you really should keep watching. And especially the slow motion, that's probably gonna interest a lot of people here. But before that, let's take a look at 4K 30. And this is really good on both. I thought there would be a more technical difference between the two, but that's really not the case here. The S23 has, in my opinion, better colors, you know, slightly less vibrance and the exposure and contrast is really nice here. I think that's one of the things that makes the S23's video look much more natural and much more less like it's taken on a smartphone. The Xiaomi 13 Pro, it really lifts everything up, like it's a super bright video and some might like it, but personally speaking, the S23 looks far better to me. But again, the technical stuff like stabilization and all that jazz, it's basically the same on both. Now then for dynamic range, well, I guess this is a bit of an extreme situation even for that, but let's be honest, both are doing a fantastic job here. If anything, the Xiaomi 13 Pro has a bit more detail in the shadows. It's not the biggest difference in the world and I could easily account it for the S23's high contrast here. But yeah, for the most part, you're not gonna have any real issues with dynamic range as such. You can also see that even though there's this sunlight that constantly flickers in front, the exposure control is pretty damn good on both. Now for the dynamic range test for the ultra wide camera, in this case I do think the S22 is doing a better job because overall the Xiaomi 13 Pro it is crushing more shadows quite simply. 
The detail loss is basically similar across the board. In general, it's just a slightly higher shadow detail on the S23 Ultra that's just taking the win for me. But if you're willing to stick with just the main camera when in high dynamic range situations, like this one right here, then the Xiaomi 13 Pro actually has something called an HDR mode, not HDR 10 plus or Dolby Vision. We'll get to that in a moment, but this is just regular HDR just meant to increase dynamic range with, once again, just the main camera. And it does a pretty significant job. I mean, the entire highlight through the window, it was completely blown out. That is not happening anymore. You can see so much more detail now. And I do think it also reduced the noise in the shot a little bit, so that's also very nice to see. So yeah, I think it's really worth using. It's definitely something that I would recommend trying out. Now, Dolby Vision, you know, I thought there would be more of a difference because we're using HR10 Plus on the S23 Ultra and it looks basically the same, especially after transcoding to SDR. I'm not really seeing any real difference between the two other than slightly higher contrast on the S23. Now, personally speaking, at least for my eyes, for my tastes, I like the S23 more. I think the higher contrast just gives the video a bit more dimension. But honestly, you could really just go either way. Now, moving on to the ultra wide camera, and this is finally a place where I thought the Xiaomi 13 Pro would pull ahead, but instead the S23 is doing a far better job. And no, it's not because it has higher contrast and also slightly less of a flat look. That's really not the case. Although those are advantages on the S23, I personally think it just makes the video look so much better. But my real issue here is that the Xiaomi 13 Pro has this weird jittering that constantly happens. I mean, you can probably see it quite easily here and it's very distracting for me, it just doesn't work. So the S23 by all means, it takes a win for me. Now then, for a zoom, well, usually, you know, I always felt like something like 2 or 3x zoom, like the 3.2x we have on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, it works out in most cases, in video at least, you you don't really need something like 5x or 10x optical because, you know, there are the obvious downsides, like stabilization with that. But for the first time in three years since I've had the opportunity to use 10x zoom, this is the very first time I thought, wow, I am glad that I have the S23 Ultra because the 3x on the Xiaomi, it looks very nice. It's really high quality, but obviously for something like this, the S23, it's gonna rock it. As you can see, when we zoom into 3x, I, I do think that the 3x on the Xiaomi 13 Pro looked better as opposed to the 3x on the S23 Ultra. Just a minor difference in quality, but the 10x, so this is where it really comes into its own and honestly for a shot like this yeah maybe it's gonna happen once in three years maybe it's gonna happen once in a lifetime maybe it's just never gonna happen for you but if it does you're gonna want to have the s23 ultra for that 10x zoom because you can't really capture a shot like this with just normal 2 or 3x it just doesn't have the same impact does it now then, let us move on to focusing and well, surprisingly, the Xiaomi 13 Pro performed extremely well. I thought there might be some issues here, but that's not really happening. You know, at least when there's good enough light, the Xiaomi 13 Pro does not struggle with focus. You can see I'm being really rough here. I'm just moving the camera around. There's wind blowing and I'm switching the subjects every now and then. It's doing a great job. There are maybe minor inconsistencies here and there, but you're not going to have any real issues when you're trying to focus on close-ups. And of course, we can't really expect anything less from the S23 Ultra. Naturally, I mean, it does have pretty incredible focusing. And I do want to draw attention to the colors and the contrast once again. It looks insanely natural. Like, even photos from the S23 Ultra don't look nearly as nice and natural as they do with the video, which is kind of weird, but hey, I'll take it. And now for 4K60, well, this is basically going to be the same as the 4K30 stuff. So yeah, no real difference, both look good, both look really nice, the stabilization is pretty good. And the only real difference is just going to boil down to the preference in contrast and colors. I like the S23 Ultra far more than the Xiaomi 13 Pro, like the look of the video. But honestly, that's going to depend on you, you can go either way. As for the ultra wide camera, once again, the same thing as we saw with 4K30 ultra wide. The Xiaomi 13 Pro looks extremely flat. Even for a situation like this, where having more shadow detail can help, I still think it just lacks contrast whatsoever. Not my preference, by no means. The S23, in, to my eyes, it looks far better. But once again, my major issue is with that weird jittering that constantly happens. And I don't know why it does, maybe it's a problem with the stabilization, maybe it's a problem with the EIS, maybe, I, I, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's very distracting. I don't, I don't really like the look of that. 
Now for Super Steady, well, this is actually where the S23 got a very significant update. So we have QH resolution, so that's an upper hand by by itself just right there and then we can also go to 60 fps now if you really want to use that and slow it down later that kind of stuff but i think it's the overall quality that really takes it for me and when there's a lot of jerks happening i do see more of them making it into the xiaomi 13 pro's video as opposed to a slightly more stable shot that we're getting on the s23 ultra so yeah overall the s23 it takes it by a long shot now of course if you want the maximum possible stabilization even at the expense of quality you can go to the ultra wide cameras on both and the drop in quality is it's significant on the uh, xiaomi 13 pro the s23 thanks to the much higher quality capture that we have now it, it's keeping up pretty well i mean compared to the main camera of course it's not going to perform nearly as well with the quality the stabilization does improve a touch especially on the xiaomi 13 pro but overall the quality that just that's a big reason why i prefer the s23 in this case and also why I preferred it in the previous one. Now for 8K video, well, another place where the S23 really just pulls its own weight now. Because previously, as you might know, Samsung had a lot of issues with 8K video. Hell, they were the first ones to introduce it, but the last people to refine it. Because now we don't have any crop, stabilization is more than good enough, and honestly, it looks really nice. As opposed to the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Both of them are just doing a great job here. I'm not having any real complaints. Now, of course, the detail preservation, we'll get to that in a moment. That is probably where we're gonna see some serious differences, but the other stuff, it's, it's pretty good on both. Now, one really cool thing that you can do with the Xiaomi 13 Pro is use its 3x zoom to take macro video, like super macro video, just like super macro shots that you can take with the 3x zoom camera, uh, photos, I mean. And, well, I don't know how practical it is, but you know, with the crazy depth of field and just how close you can get to the subject, it's definitely a cool little feature that I just thought I should showcase because it works and it looks really cool, but the stabilization isn't the best. So that, that can be a bit of a concern here. Now then for detail preservation, well, we are obviously starting off with 4K30 and well, I, I didn't expect a lot of difference here because it's, it's very close and as you can see, 500% crop and it looks basically the same. The Xiaomi 13 Pro, if anything, I actually think it nailed the exposure and contrast this time around. The detail difference is not there but that is surprising because in the daytime shots, it was overexposing constantly while now it's actually doing a better job. As for the ultra wide camera, well, you guys know, I had a pretty major issue with the jittering that was happening on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. But when it comes to detail preservation, I, I actually expected Xiaomi to perform far better. But the difference isn't nearly as much. Now look, the S23 does manage to squeeze out the maximum possible quality, in videos at least, out of the ultra wide camera. And that's great and all, but I do think that it has to process this video far more. Which is why the Xiaomi 13 Pro can maintain essentially the same level of detail without the processing artifacts, the sharpening and the haloing that I see a lot of on the S23 Ultra. So essentially you're gonna get a slightly cleaner video on the Xiaomi 13 Pro when you're using the ultra wide camera. But overall, I think having a non jittery video on the S23, that still trumps the Xiaomi 13 Pro here. Now, of course, for 8K video, well, this is where we're gonna see a fundamental difference between the two. It's just the way the videos are just processed or rather not, especially in case of the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So as you can see, the detail level on the S23, it's higher. You get more sharpness, you get much more defined edges in a lot of cases, but because the video is being processed, you are going to get more haloing in some cases, maybe some processing artifacts, sharpening artifacts, that sort of stuff. Now, this is a 500% crop, maybe it really doesn't matter all that much, but let's face it, we are talking about 8K. The reason anyone would ever take 8K video is because of the details, right? So I think it does matter. And personally speaking, to my eyes, I think I, I like the Xiaomi 13 Pro here. It doesn't have as much detail, naturally. It doesn't have as much sharpness, but it does have a very natural, very organic look. It just looks very realistic, unprocessed, and once again, less like a smartphone. Moving on, of course, we have low light video. Now, the regular 4K low light isn't particularly good on either, because of obvious reasons, you know, it's low light video, you're gonna have issues. 
So the Xiaomi 13 Pro has slightly more vibrance overall, but both of them suffer from stuff like the jerks that come into with the stabilization, and then of course the noise, the lack of detail, all that stuff, that's gonna happen. And you can't really do anything about it, even with the larger sensors like we have on the uh, Xiaomi 13 Pro, you're gonna have issues. But having said that, the Xiaomi 13 Pro does have something called Night Mode Video, and you can actually only access Night Mode Video from the Night Mode tab in the camera app. It's not available via the video tab, which is kind of weird, but anyways, when you do use it, you get a pretty significant upgrade in quality. It's also at 4K, which just sweetens the deal up that much more, but the real benefit is the sheer increase in detail and the decrease in overall noise and artifacting. I mean, there's a bit of artifacting happening in the sky, but compared to the S23, especially in this really dark situation right here, I think the Sham is doing a far better job. Now, of course, there's also the ultra wide camera. Honestly, not really much of an option for either because the S23 looks kind of smeared up and just non detailed, while the Xiaomi 13 Pro has a ton of noise. And honestly, the ultra wide, it's not really built for nighttime video, now is it? Now, I did promise that the slow motion is gonna be very interesting, especially for the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Now this is just 1080p240 and I think the Xiaomi 13 Pro has far more detail. Like I can see so much more in the texture and just the overall detail in the bubbles of the water, all that jazz. It looks far better on the Xiaomi 13 Pro as opposed to the S23 Ultra. Yeah, I get it, not the biggest difference in the world, but you know, the small things matter in cases like these at least. But the place where the Xiaomi 13 Pro just steps up its game by a fair bit is in the fact that you get 1080p 480 with the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Now this right here is something that I haven't really had much of a chance to use in most of the other flagships because usually it's just 1080p 240 that's your realistic option. Otherwise if you want to go to something else then you're probably gonna have to drop the resolution. And well, yes, there is a drop in quality even though it is 1080p compared to 240 when you're at 480 you're going to have some drop in quality that's gonna happen regardless of whether you want it or not but i like having the option i like the fact that it still looks good enough but you get the crazy dramatic slow motion of 480 and so that is a wrap for this video comparison i gotta admit both of them have certain advantages but overall i just feel like the s23 is going to be better the way the s23 is priced I think that it really makes up for that price tag with its video quality because as you can see the Xiaomi 13 Pro costs less and the overall video quality that we're getting from it just everything encompassing every aspect I think I think the S23 does pull ahead if you don't care like an absolute metric ton about video then the Xiaomi is not going to be disappointing that much I can tell you without a shadow of doubt like nighttime video is better on the Xiaomi 13 Pro slow motion is better on the Xiaomi 13 Pro and we also get really good 8K video. We get no processing that's happening on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. There are issues like with the ultra wide camera that I had. Selfie video is not quite as good. But yeah, overall, I do think both have their place. But if you want a winner, then for me, it's the S23 Ultra. And so with that said, I do hope you guys enjoyed, found this helpful, and I will see you guys soon enough with more. Cheers.